Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this week is my plan with me for the week of March 28th through April 3rd. Um, I'm using this amazing Cricut Paper Co. kit, um, which I, again, as per usual, cannot remember the name of it. Hopefully you will see the name of it um, at the bottom of one of these sticker sheets. That is my that is my hope because I am I am terrible and I never remember. I want to say this is like the Sakura kit, but it could be very wrong. Um anywho, <laughs> so as we know because we've talked about it a little bit before, maybe not. Well, okay, let me back up. If you've seen my haul video where I did a haul of the uh, Cricut Paper Co kits that I got, um, you will know that I love Cricut Paper Co. because I love, well, first of all, I love the format of her kits. Seriously, I'm obsessed with them. I think there's a lot of really fun elements that really, I don't want to be corny and say like match my personality, but honestly, that's what it is. Oh, and sorry, my beloved cat, AB, makes an appearance like 500 times in this video, I think. Um, he just wanted attention so badly. <laughs> he would not leave me alone. Um, but anyway, I love the vinyl stickers. I think I'm s such a perfectionist. If you watched my last plan with me, I talked about how like the Sadie stickers kits are super permanent. And while I really am just like haphazardly slapping stickers down all the time, there are some that I slap down and I'm like, wow, that looks horrible. Um, and I would love to be able to move them, but I can't obviously, but with the Cricut Paper Co. stickers, I can move them as many times as I need to, which I love because I am a mess. So I think it's great. Um, but anyway, as I've been doing, I will give you an overview of this week. This week got, honestly got a little crazy. Um, it was a week that I lived, that I felt like I had lived 10 years in one week. It was a lot. And yes, I was correct on the kit name go me. Um, so let's just get right into it because I'm telling you a lot happened this week. So on Monday, I had a final round interview, which I haven't talked about my interviewing process um, on this channel, but I had a final round interview. And then in the afternoon, I actually found out that I got the job, which is super exciting. Um, I'm really excited for this next chapter in my career. I think it's going to be a really good change for me. So very bittersweet because I really do love all the people that I work with. But I think career wise, growth wise, it'll be the right choice for me at this point. So super excited about that. Um, and then because I got the job, Cole and I went out to dinner to celebrate. We had Italian and some sangria and it was just amazing pasta good vibes you know the whole shebang so that was a lot of fun um and then I also that day got approved for three new um advanced copies on NetGalley which I talked about in my last video so that was super exciting um Tuesday was super emotional because I had to resign from my current job um and like I said I love all the people that I work with so that was really hard to do. Um, and then Cole watched a basketball game. He went to a basketball game with his coworker. Um, and then I basically like had a chill night at home by myself. I had some wine. I read some books. It was glorious, honestly. Um, Wednesday, I was super scatterbrained, basically a wash of a work day. I spent like the whole day basically telling people I was resigning. Um, which was really, again, really emotionally draining for me because I do care about a lot of my coworkers, so that was hard. But after work, I had, I went to a happy hour with one of my old coworkers, which was so nice to see him and kind of catch up with him um, on how everything is going for him and his new job. Um, and then I also booked my first flight ever for my best friend's bachelorette party slash bachelorette weekend. So, that was really stressful and scary because I don't know the first thing about booking flights, but I did it. It all worked out well, so props to me. <laughs> I did that after several glasses of wine, so I'm really proud of myself for that. Um, and then Thursday, obviously, I worked. And then I went to the gym after work with Cole. We went to Trader Joe's, and then we dropped off AB at his coworker's house 
because we were going home for the weekend and needed somebody to watch AB for us. So that was very hard. It's the first time I've ever dropped him off anywhere. And I kid you not, I feel like I will never be able to be a parent of a child after that. I literally was being such a helicopter parent and like could not leave him. And I can only equate it to what I'm imagining parents feel like when they drop their kids off at like daycare or something. Yeah, I don't know how I'm ever going to be able to handle that. That's, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> um, anyway, Friday was one of my best friend's birthdays. So um, I marked that in my planner. We also took the train home. Like I said, we had dinner with Cole's family when we got there. And then we watched some game shows, which is my guilty pleasure. I love game shows. <laughs> um, Saturday, we had a coffee meeting with our wedding DJ and kind of started to sort through a lot of the details for our music and stuff like that, which was really fun. Then we had our first couples counseling session with our officiant, as is required, um, which was also a good time. And then we actually got to go see my best friend for her birthday, which was so nice. I haven't seen her in a while. I really missed her. It was really nice to just catch up and play games and hang out. Um, so that was awesome. And then we also had a campfire that night, which was a lot of fun, um, and made s'mores, of course, which was, of course, amazing. I love s'mores. They are one of my preferred desserts, if you didn't know that, so, yeah. Well, you definitely didn't know that, but now you know that. Um, and then Sunday, we took the train back home, um, we picked up AB, I spent a lot of time, like, back planning, which I posted a reel on my Instagram of back planning this week, I think, if you would like to see it, make sure to check that out. Um, and then I filmed a new video, and then we also, like, cleaned, unpacked, all that jazz that I dislike about traveling. <laughs> um, and yeah, that was pretty much it, actually. And then I also started setting up April's little, like, monthly page, um, which I have not finished yet. But yeah, crazy busy week. Um, I think this coming week is also going to be super busy. So TBD, April in general is going to be kind of crazy for us. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching um, and I hope that you have a great rest of your day, week. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed this spread as much as I did. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.